So bring up Russ Belleville. He's coming up. He's an outreach co coordinator. Anybody here in Normal? Has anybody heard of Normal? Any young kids? National Organization for Reform of Marijuana Law. These guys are one of the few groups that are out there that's older than Hefast. One of the few. So please give it up for Russ Belleville. try to convince soccer moms and NASCAR dads we got to legalize pot and they always say oh marijuana legalization isn't there anything more important to talk about well I got my friends cannabis carry and cousin Kenny here help us out why is legalizing pot important it's because you have rights and these rights are taken away because of marijuana first amendment freedom of religion well not if you're a Rastafarian I'm afraid not freedom of speech oh well gee if you a medical marijuana patient go to trial you can't mention that you use medical marijuana right to petition yeah we've petitioned to get medical marijuana rescheduled to schedule one but they keep ignoring us right to bear arms if you're a drug felon you don't get to have any right to bear arms anymore in my state they're trying to take the gun permits away from the legal medical marijuana patients amendment three government may not quarter any soldiers in your home no they can't put a soldier in your home but they can put a gps on your car in your driveway without a warrant fourth amendment you got a right to not be searched in your home your papers your warrants without probable cause yeah kentucky v king new supreme court decision just said the probable cause they need is if they smell marijuana and they hear a noise if they smell marijuana behind your door and hear a noise, the cops can legally say now, oh, it sounds like they were trying to destroy evidence. Break down your door and take you away in cuffs. How about your Fifth Amendment right? Government cannot compel you to testify against yourself? Well, what do you think a drug test is? But testifying against yourself. How about cannot try you twice? Yeah, unless they do that whole tax stamp thing on you and try you for the same crime, but it was a technicality, it was tax stamps. How about stealing your property? Ever heard of asset forfeiture? where they take your property because they think it was because you made it from making drug money and your property is considered guilty until proven innocent. You have to go to court to prove that your car, your house, and your money was actually yours. Uh, how about the Sixth Amendment? Right to a speedy public jury trial. Yeah, with sealed indictments. How about uh, uh, the juries that don't know anything about the medical marijuana in the trial? I have two friends in California doing five years right now because they went to trial. The, the cops said that they had 100 plants. They put in five-year mandatory minimum, they weren't allowed to say the word medical or marijuana in the same paragraph or else they'd be put in prison for contempt of court. So, so much for that right. Right to confront your witnesses. How do you confront a drug dog in court? Woof. Woof, woof, woof. Your Honor, he said woof. All right, how about the right to an attorney? Well, yeah, we can do that for you with normal, but how many of you got the money to afford an attorney? That kind of sucks sometimes. How about your Seventh Amendment right? Civil jury trial. Yeah, but what if you're ripped off by another grower? Can you really take him to court because he ripped you off? No, you can't. You don't have that right as a stoner. Eighth Amendment, no excessive bail or excessive fines. I've seen fines in the millions of dollars, bail in the millions of dollars for people who are doing nothing more than growing house plants. How about no cruel and unusual punishments? Jonathan Magby, Washington, D.C., medical marijuana patient, put in jail, put in prison for overnight, was not allowed to have his medical marijuana. He is in a wheelchair. He has asphyxiated. He died in prison over two joints. That's cruel and unusual punishment. Ninth Amendment, the government, just because they put rights in the Constitution, doesn't mean you don't have a right. Just because it's not listed in the Constitution doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Well, do you think the hemp farmers, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, would think you have a natural right to grow hemp? Well, we don't have that right. Sorry about that. Ninth Amendment doesn't apply to you stoners. Tenth Amendment. If the feds have a right, doesn't have a right in the Constitution, it's a state's rights. You heard of medical marijuana and them raiding all the states that have those laws? So much for our state's rights. So much for that one. Fourteenth Amendment. Citizenship by birth. Well, we're still okay with that one. Right to due process. Well, you can't say medical marijuana in court. Right to equal protection. If you're a medical marijuana patient, you can't travel to most of the United States because your card's not good in that state. Your Washington card is no good in Oregon. My Oregon card is no good in Washington. That's not equal protection. Right to vote regardless of race, color, or previous condition of servitude. In the state of Florida, 19.8% of African American males that are avoiding age cannot vote because of the state of Florida's drug penalties that do not allow felons the right to vote. So, so much for that right. Now, do you think it's important to legalize marijuana? Yeah! Don't let anybody tell you that it's not. I'm Radical Russ, Normal.org. We'll see you later.
God damn, Russ, you're killing me. I was loving that stuff. What do you guys say about Russ Belleville? What do you guys say about Russ Belleville? Is that guy a fucking warrior or what? And who's he being a warrior for? You. Thank you so much, Russ.